In Ukraine's dense, shadow-draped forests, a drone operator, hidden away in a secret vantage point, directed the silent observer in the sky, gliding through the air, its camera piercing through the wilderness below. There, nestled among the trees, lay what seemed to be a Russian tank. Its dark, menacing form loomed in the underbrush. With its unblinking eye, the drone edged closer, but as it hovered nearer, the scene took an unexpected turn. The imposing war machine began to waver, its outlines too perfect, too still. Then, the truth unveiled itself. This was no ordinary tank. It was a masterful illusion, an inflatable decoy, skillfully crafted to mimic the real thing. The lurking beast was nothing more than air and fabric, a clever trick in the art of modern warfare. The legacy of Russia's 45th Separate Camouflage Engineer Regiment, known for its inflatable arsenal, collides with Ukraine's ingenious use of decoys, from high-tech imitations to simple plywood constructs. This footage, a snapshot of the ongoing conflict, underscores a fundamental truth of warfare. Sometimes, the most impactful weapons exist only in the enemy's mind. In an era marked by advanced technologies like drone warfare and artificial intelligence, the continued effectiveness of simple decoys and diversions in warfare is a remarkable phenomenon. Armies have employed these tactics for centuries, but they trace their roots at their most basic form back to World War II, when the Ghost Army was born. This innovative unit used inflatable decoys and clever ruses to create the illusion of a much larger military force, showcasing the enduring power of deception. The success of decoy strategies hinges on the psychology of risk avoidance. Ignoring something that merely appears threatening can lead to grave consequences in the chaos of battle. The human eye's vulnerability to optical illusions adds another layer to their effectiveness, especially when deceptive objects are encountered from a distance. Deception involves placing visually realistic and accurately sized critical assets in the midst of combat. As the enemy directs its firepower towards these fabrications, the real combat assets operate stealthily elsewhere, often dangerously close. This seemingly whimsical strategy proves highly effective when executed successfully. In today's world, the age-old tactic of deception has resurfaced in the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine in Eastern Europe. Both sides have turned to these time-tested strategies to gain an advantage. Despite the evolution of warfare technology, the enduring power of simple decoys and diversions continues to outfox the enemy. Somewhere along the southern front of Russia's expansive war on Ukraine, a keen-eyed Ukrainian drone operator discovered an intriguing anomaly. The drone's lens focused on what initially appeared to be an imposing Russian tank, positioned amidst the natural cover of tree branches and brush, expertly concealed for camouflage. However, upon closer inspection, the distinctive, puffy, rounded edges of both turret and hull became unmistakably evident, a telltale sign that this imposing war machine was, in fact, an inflatable facsimile. And so, the legacy of Russia's renowned 45th Separate Camouflage Engineer Regiment, also known as the Inflatable Regiment, lives on. Recently released drone footage, courtesy of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, unveils a seemingly ordinary field of Russian T-72 tanks, a Soviet-era model that forms the backbone of Russia's tank inventory. The video captures three of these deceptive decoys, with one strategically positioned beside what appears to be train tracks. The brief clip provides a glimpse of the three inflatable Russian T-72 tanks situated in close proximity to one another. However, one stands in plain view, while the other two remain cunningly obscured by the surrounding foliage. This new footage, circulating widely across online platforms, paints a vivid picture of a Kyiv drone operator's keen surveillance. As the relentless conflict in Ukraine grinds on, inflatable military equipment once again emerges as a pivotal player in the ongoing battle. While this footage's exact time and location remain undisclosed, open source intelligence outlets suggest it might be situated in Ukraine's annex southern Zaporizhia region. This region's western fringes are a focal point for Ukraine's counteroffensive. The 45th Separate Camouflage Engineer Regiment has a history that traces back to its origins as the 45th Engineer and Sapper Regiment in 1980. It gained its first combat experience in the challenging terrain of Afghanistan during the Soviet-Afghan War. However, in 2006, the regiment transitioned into a specialized role, focusing on camouflage and deception, particularly in creating decoys, although this phase was short-lived and the unit was disbanded. In 2017, the Kremlin saw fit to resurrect the 45th Regiment with a new mission, crafting highly convincing decoys 
designed to mimic some of the most fearsome assets in the Russian armed forces, including inflatable replicas of Sukhoi fighters, S-300 air defense systems, and T-72 tanks. These decoys were transported in Kamaz trucks, and skilled teams could inflate them rapidly when needed. Russia had already been experimenting with decoys before the conflict, using inflatable props like MiG-31 jets and radar systems. However, the 45th Regiment's capabilities were extensive, covering a wide range of inflatable assets, from armored vehicles and artillery to missile batteries and fighter aircraft. Ukraine's general staff reported instances of Russian inflatable tanks deployed in the southern Zaporizhia region, which had been annexed by Russia in September 2022. However, these decoys often failed to fulfill their intended purpose, as they frequently deflated. This region has become a crucial theater of mechanized warfare during Ukraine's ongoing land counteroffensive. Yet, the 45th Regiment was not the sole practitioner of such deception tactics in Ukraine's battleground. Amidst its prolonged conflict with Russia, Ukraine has developed a unique tactic, employing inflatable and imitation decoys as part of its military strategy. This inventive approach involves the use of inflatable replicas of advanced weaponry, including high-mobility artillery rocket system launchers and M1 tanks. Its proficiency in strategically utilizing these decoys against Russian forces sets Ukraine apart. Even wooden replicas of US-provided rocket launchers have been employed to deceive adversaries. In fact, a CNN video revealed Ukrainian ingenuity in creating decoys from basic materials like plywood, metal, and pipes. These imitation assets, crafted by the company Medinvest, are surprisingly cost-effective, with each costing approximately $1,000, proving the battlefield is not solely defined by firepower and strategy, but also by the art of deception. Inflatech, a Czech company specializing in inflatable decoys, has experienced a significant uptick in business, with a 30% surge compared to the previous year. Although the company's CEO has not disclosed the specific applications of these inflatable decoys, there are strong indications that they are being used on the Ukrainian front lines. Inflatex inventory includes a wide range of inflatable decoys, including replicas of critical military assets, including various NATO military equipment. While the identities of their clients are undisclosed, images shared early in 2023 suggested the presence of decoy HIMARS and M777 howitzers, essential for Ukraine's defense, likely due to U.S. support. These inflatable decoys, made from synthetic silk, may seem expensive at first glance, with some costing tens of thousands of dollars each. However, they are a cost-effective alternative to real military hardware. For instance, a single round fired by HIMARS can cost $160,000. In contrast, a decoy may cost as little as $10,000, making them a sensible economic choice. The primary purpose of these decoys is to divert enemy attention, attract drone surveillance, and provoke artillery strikes, all while saving on expensive munitions. Placing a well-crafted decoy can force the enemy to expend valuable resources on what appears to be a high-value target, all at a fraction of the cost. While inflatable decoys offer a strategic advantage in modern warfare, creating a convincing electromagnetic dimension to deceive the enemy remains a significant challenge. Accurately mimicking an entire battle group, including intricate modulation types and timing details, is a considerable task. A capable adversary can easily distinguish a decoy from reality if these crucial elements are not meticulously replicated. Skilled drone operators have developed various techniques to distinguish inflatable decoys from real military vehicles. In broad daylight, the lack of intricate details and the telltale shadows cast by supporting rods are obvious giveaways. However, at night, new clues come into play. Thermal imaging is used to detect the heat signature of real vehicles. At the same time, electronic warfare specialists analyze electromagnetic emissions to differentiate between decoys and real systems. To counter the infrared challenge, the 45th Regiment has installed heaters inside their decoys, allowing them to mimic the heat patterns of genuine vehicles. Still, replicating the exact electromagnetic signals emitted by real radar installations is a considerable challenge. Both Ukrainian and Russian forces use threat emitters, compact radar devices that emit signals without processing them. These emitters can be strategically placed alongside decoys to create multispectral illusions, but come at a significant cost. Contextual analysis is another key factor. Real military operations are complex, interconnected, and part of larger forces pursuing objectives. 
decoys, even with added features, lack this complexity, and often stand alone, detached from any larger purpose. And so, the drone that hovered above the 45th Regiment's inflatable T-72 tank only lingered briefly and captured a video, instead of attacking the evident bait. <laughs>